So we're at Black Hawk Brewery, and this is the Praiseworthy IPA. This is their uh, their newer beer. It's only got 11 check-ins on, on untapped, and it's averaging a 4.11, so off to a pretty good start. That's pretty hazy. It smells really good. It's very citrusy. It's checking in at 6.6%, so uh, let's go in for a sip. Wow, that's different. It's really good, but it's different. I really like this. Uh, I really like this beer. This is really different. It's very, um, it's very sweet. It's got a good hoppiness level to it. It's smooth. Six point six percent is is pretty reasonable. Yeah, it's really good. You can see I'm set up here in the brewery. I got the fermenters in the back, which is pretty cool. You know, uh, Blackhawk Brewery is really cool. They're letting me, you know, do some uh, some more extended filming that I don't normally do at breweries. So um, they're really hooking me up here. And uh, yeah, this really nice staff, really good brewery. They always got stuff going on. Last time I came here, there was a dog adoption. And now today, there's live music. There was a yoga class, some demo dancing where they teach you how to do like country dancing and stuff like that. So this place just always has a lot going on. Yeah, really cool brewery. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Legend. Here, I'll stay here as a uh, fill-in. Perfect. Perfect. So I'm with my uh, buddy Chris and his girlfriend, wife. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. <laughs> girlfriend Lynn. We're working on it. Yeah, it's a, wor <laughs> it's yeah, a work it's in progress. <laughs> Yeah, at Black Hawk Brewery, and he plays live music. She does beer yoga. So talk about what you guys do. Uh, so I'm originally from New York, and when I was in New York, I got my certification, and then COVID hit. I moved out to Connecticut and didn't know what I was gonna do. He's a beer enthusiast, and I love yoga. We came out here to Black Hawk on a comedy night, and I was like, you know what? I think I could do beer yoga. And so we reached out to the owners, and they hadn't had beer yoga here, and we decided to take both our passions and our loves and combine it. And he was always playing music at his house, and I was like, you know what? Why don't you play music for me? And now we're like a duo, and we're trying to saturate Connecticut, and it's been fun, fun ride. That's awesome. That that's that's like the, one of the coolest stories I've ever heard, by the way. You know, like a guy that just plays his music, plays his guitar, likes his beer. His girl's like into yoga, 
and they just kind of infuse those together and create something. That's awesome. Yeah. So have you guys gone to other breweries besides Blackhawk? Yes, I'm currently at Continuum Distilling, and so there's like cocktails with uh, yoga, so it's like a sip and flow. Um, and also we have the live music as well from Popo. And then I'm at Woodbury Brewery as well, which is a nice, big, it's, it's popular for live there. music. It's a really nice place. Yeah, it's yeah. popular for live music, so I feel like they kind of want to hit more than me. But you know what? It works because we're a duo. And yeah, it's been super fun. That's so. awesome. How long have you been playing guitar for? Um, I don't know. That's a long. It's, a, it's been a long process. Yeah. Uh, so when um, when I suggested we we started doing this, um, you know, just started uh, practicing more and, and really doing it in more of a, a focused. You know, I'm gonna play these songs and, and get this kind of vibe going. It's uh, it's very laid back. I don't do anything really crazy. Um, and I try and let Lynette. The, the, um, the focus. Yeah, so I could tell. I could tell some of your guitar riffs, man. They were they were sounding pretty good. You know, the viewers will see you, you're really ripping those strings, dude. So I got started with Lynette doing the uh, the beer yoga, yep. and because it is very laid back, um, it, it kind of like I was like, man, I, I would like to like rip a little bit. And the, the breweries have been really great with us. Yeah. So they've been um, totally supportive. And when I suggested, like, how about if I just hang out and, and play some more after the, the beer yoga and have people hang out and have a beer, get some food. Yeah, for sure. It, um, it, uh, they've, they've been great. And um, I was able to kind of explore some more uh, upbeat yep. styles, yep. some different styles, some more upbeat songs. So. So how about the whole incorporating the music into yoga? Because that's got to be calm and relaxing and like, you know, when I think of like, you know, like, I see you with a beard guitar, I'm thinking you're going to be playing some Slayer, some crazy shit, but like, you know, when it comes to the yoga, you probably got to mellow it out a little bit, right? It's like, very mellow. Uh, Lynette is giving instructions, so I, I just stay way back. And uh, you know, I let I've got some uh, some backing tracks, and kind of let that let that be up front. You okay. know, and I just kind of like float and, and get my little uh, my little bits in here and there. So on that note, like how we do it, basically the first song and the last song is really chill. Yeah. And then in the middle, I want him to be an artist, and I want him to just be himself, and yeah. I want him to just play with whatever we have. Uh, the people that follow me throughout this whole year have been amazing, and they also are fond of Chris. So it's just a no-brainer. First song, last song, make it chill, and in the middle, you can do whatever you want. Obviously, there are some signals if I need the music higher or lower, but pretty much is just be you. And that's what I want. And just vibe off of like the yeah. situation. That's I want him to be just a, a musician. I want him to be an artist. I've given him a format, and he has a platform to be who he is. I saw him playing in the living room all the time, and I was like, he's amazing. Like he should just be playing out there. And now he's side by side with me, and I think it's amazing. Because now he's booking his own gigs. So. That's awesome. Congratulations, guys. So uh, before we head out, why don't you guys do like an Instagram plug? You know, you want to tell these people your Instagrams, you know, so they can follow you. They don't have that. Yes, so my plug on Instagram. Oh, <laughs> my Instagram is Thai Yoga underscore Goddess. Um, if you put Lynette Garcia, I will be most likely the person that pops up. Um, I have a very fun feed. I also have Linktree there, so in my bio, if you're looking to see my future classes or workshops that I have, just link in there. It will take you directly to Eventbrite or Venmo or PayPal. And if you have any questions, please don't try, be shy to DM, DM me. Yes. Awesome. I'm uh, Popo Music official, and uh, basically same thing. I, I try to throw um, little videos of me noodling around, and um, it's a lot of uh, what we're doing. Yeah. It just takes up a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Nice yeah. to meet you guys. Yeah. Really. Have a safe. Have a safe. So this is the uh, the riding mower by Black Hawk Brewery, and we're gonna take a sip of this. That is really good. It's super light, super refreshing. 
really good flavor. This is a crushable summer hazy IPA. Yeah, so I totally crushed this riding mower beer and it is super delicious.